Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain what counts and digits mean on a digital multimeter, and we'll discuss some of the practical implications. On the workbench here, I have three Unity meters at the moment, two benchtop ones and a handheld one. The UT61E Plus is a 22,000 counts meter, the Unity UT8805E is a 200,000 counts meter, and the UT8806E is a 2 million counts meter. Counts and digits are closely related. Let's start with a simpler one, the counts. This UT61E Plus has 22,000 counts as I mentioned a moment ago. What it really means is that the biggest number the meter can display is up to 22,000. And the full scale, of course, is also 22,000. So why does this matter? Well, imagining you are trying to measure a voltage that is 2 volts. With a 22,000 counts meter, it will give you 2.0000 four zeros reading, but if you're trying to measure a 2.3 volts voltage, for example, because the maximum count is 22,000. If it were to display the 2.3000, then the number would be higher than the specified counts. Obviously, that is out of range. So instead, the meter automatically changes the measurement to the next range, and the display is right-shifted by one digit. In doing so, the display would be 02.300. On this UT61E+, Plus, it doesn't display the leading zero, but you can clearly see now, instead of having four decimal places, we now only have three. The resolution, which is indicated by the last significant digit, dropped from 0.1 mV to 1 mV. So what if I need to measure the 2.3 volts with the same 0.1 mV resolution? Well, essentially any meter with accounts greater than 23,000 should do the trick. For instance, here I have a whole peak HP 770D, which is a 40,000 counts meter. And let's verify that reading of the 2.3 volts voltage. You can see that we return that four decimal place. Of course, if I change the voltage to 4.5 volts, we would be back to three decimal place because 45,000 would have exceeded the 40,000 counts, and therefore the meter auto-ranged to the higher voltage range of 40 volts, full scale. Now let me measure the same voltage using all these three unity meters at the same time. At the moment, all three meters are measuring the same two volts outputted from my MB216A voltage standard. So now let me adjust the voltage standard output to 2.3 volts, and let's see what we get on these meters. As you can see, all the meters essentially switched to a higher range, therefore we lost one digit of resolution. So now on this UT61E+, Plus, we get only three digits, and on the 8805E, we have four digits, and then on the 8806E, we have essentially one, two, three, four, five, five digits after the decimal place. So the count of a multimeter is pretty easy to grasp. Now let's talk about digits. You often hear about three and a half digit meter, four and a half digit meter, so on and so forth. The UT8805E is, for instance, a 5.5 digit meter, and the UT8806E is a 6.5 digit meter. So what is the convention? Well, let's use this 5.5 digit meter as an example. You can see that given the readings here on the screen, we have 5 full digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and full digits means they can display between 0 and 9. And then we have this leading digit, currently it's displaying as 1. And the leading digit here can either be 0 or 1, and that is counted as the half digit. Similarly, on the 6.5 digit meter, we have 6 full digits. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These digits are all capable of displaying between 0 and 9. And then we have this leading digit that is currently 1, and that is the half digit. Unfortunately, the digit's designation is not fully agreed upon among all the manufacturers. For instance, a 4,000 counts meter is sometimes referred to as a 3 and 3 quarter digits meter, but that designation sometimes is also applied to a 6,000 counts meter. What about the 22,000 counts UT61E Plus? Well, for all intents and purposes, I would still classify it as a 4.5 digit multimeter, although it has more counts than a standard 4.5 digit multimeter, which tops out at 20,000 counts instead of the 22,000 counts offered on this meter. So now at least you understand what digits and counts mean for a given meter. And sometimes these are just approximate numbers. For instance, even though the UT8806E is a 2 million counts meter, it still has some building buffer when displaying numbers. For instance, let me adjust the voltage upward a little bit. So let me do, let's say, 2.1 volts. So you can see here, in theory, being a 2 million counts meter, or a 6.5 digit meter, this would cause it to switch to the 20 volts range. 
and therefore lose a digit of resolution. But as you can see here, we're still able to display the full six digits. So the counts here are slightly higher than two million counts in this case. And similarly for the 8805E, the counts are also higher than the 200,000 counts that is specified. Anyway, in my opinion, multimeter counts is a better indicator as at least you can easily tell what the maximum possible display is for a given meter. So the higher the counts or the higher the number of digits, the higher the measurement resolution, right? Well, if it is only that simple. Generally speaking, the more digits you have, the higher the resolution, as we have seen earlier. But that's not necessarily true. And I'll give you an example. Let's switch them to AC measurement range. For instance, in AC range, the resolution of both of the 8805E and 8806E are at 1 microvolts. You can see the last digit is 1 microvolt, although the 8806E has 1 extra digit. And even the meters with the same counts don't necessarily have the same resolution. For instance, in amps range, the Kaiwitz HT118E has a 0.1 milliamp resolution. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 digits after the decimal. Whereas on the unit E, you can see here, we only have three digits after decimal. So the resolution here is one milliamp. So although they're both four and a half digit meters and the Unity UT61E Plus is actually has higher counts than the HT118E, but the resolution in the current range actually is lower than HT118E. Also, as you have seen earlier, a four and three quarter digit meter can have the same resolution as a five and a half digit meter if the measurement range falls above the counts threshold of the five and a half digit meter but below the four and three quarter digit meter. So my best advice is that you need to comb through the detailed specifications if you wanted to understand the resolution of a specific measurement type of the meter you are interested in. Obviously, depending on the measurement resolution of your specific case, you might need a five and a half digit or even a six and a half digit multimeter. Another key benefit of using a higher counts meter is for the higher dynamic range. So essentially, you can observe a small signal, whether it's voltage or current, and a large signal within the same range. Let me use the amp range on the 8806E for an example here. So let me switch it to DC current. And let me go and switch the terminal to 10 amps. So you can see, because we have six digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, after the decimal, we can actually display between one microamp to 10 amps in the same range. Well, what's the advantage, you may ask? One of the advantages, at least in current mode, is that you can use the 10 amp range to measure a small current, and the resulted burden voltage would be very small. Let me demonstrate that. So you can see right now we're measuring a 100 milliamp current using both the meters 8806 and 8805. The meters are put in series. And the difference is that on the 8805E, we're using the milliamp range, and the 8806E, we're using the amp range for measurement. So let's take a look at the voltage drop here. So on the 8805E, let's take a look. And you can see, obviously, we're above the millivolt range, so let's go to the volt range, and you can see the voltage drop is at 0.3 volts. Whereas on the 8806E, let's take a look, in the millivolt range, and you can see that on the UT8806E, the voltage drop is actually under 20 millivolts. And you probably also noticed, the actual measurement resolution on 8806E and 8805E are actually identical because both of these are accurate down to one microamp. And this is incredible as some circuitry is sensitive to power supply voltage variations, and if the current draw is dynamic, using a current meter with high burden voltage could cause a circuit to malfunction. As we demonstrated here, if you use a higher counts meter and measure the same current in the amp range, you can still achieve good resolution while avoiding high burden voltage. And this is possible because of the high dynamic range. Of course, you can use a similar trick on lower counts meters, namely using the amp range to measure low current and get the same benefit of lower burden voltage as well. But the resolution you get will be much lower. I did a full video on this topic and I will leave a link to that video in the video description below. And of course, there are applications simply require high precision measurement. One example is the matched resistors used for the voltage divider pair in a differential amplifier. 
In order to achieve high common mode rejection ratio, or CMRR, the resistor values must be precisely matched. And this is where a high count multimeter comes handy. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you find this video informative. If you liked the video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Your participation makes videos like this possible. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.